What's up, Cal gang? So we got the statics problem today. The goal is to find the radius of gyration, k of y, of this shaded area, right? So this area is defined by y is equal to 0 0.1, uh, 1600 minus x squared. So let's go ahead and get started, right? So we're gonna use this equation, right? The radius of gyration is equal to the square root of the moment of inertia around the y-axis divided by area. So that means to find the radius of gyration, we're gonna need to find this and this. So let's get started with the moment of inertia around the y-axis. So I have a whole bunch of videos on this. If you haven't seen those already, maybe check them out, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So the equation for the radius, or the moment of inertia around the y-axis is the integral over the area of x squared dy, or dA, I mean, right? So this is our equation here. So we need to figure out what dA is, because we can't just integrate dA. So dA is equal to either x dy or y dx. So usually I like to choose x or y dx. The reason I do that is because we already have this x squared here. So if you choose um, y dx, then we're just going to integrate with respect to this x, we don't have to change it. So we're going to say it's y dx. So let's put that right into our integral, right? So it's going to be over the area, x squared, y dx. And let's make sure that we're right about this too. So our dx is our infinitesimal change across the x-axis, and y is this distance, right? It's whatever, you know, height we're going to. So luckily for us, our y is going to be the same as the area we're integrating over, and y is defined by this function here. So we don't have to do anything about this yet. Um, so there we go. And we're integrating with respect to x, right? So if we're integrating with respect to x, we have to confine our bounds to x. So for our area here, x goes from negative 40 to positive 40. So we can go ahead and say negative 40, positive 40 for our bounds here. But now we have a y in our integral, and we need to get rid of this y. So to get rid of that y, negative 40 to 40, x squared, but the y is defined by this, which is in terms of x, so we're just going to plug this in for y. 0 0.1, 1600 0, minus x squared, right, and then dx. So now we have something we can integrate, so let's just go ahead and solve this integral. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring out the 0 0.01, or 0 0.1, right, negative 40 to 40, and then distribute this x squared, so it's going to be 1600 x squared minus x to the fourth, dx. Right. So now we're just going to integrate this, so the 0 0.1 stays out. It's going to be uh, 1600 over 3 x to the third minus 1 fifth x to the fifth from negative 40 to 40. So I'll leave this to you to plug it into your uh, calculators. You're just going to put in 40 for x and then negative 40. I'm pretty sure if you've made it this far you know how to do this. And you're going to find that i of y is equal to uh, let's see, 2,730,667 millimeters to the fourth. All right, so that's how you do that part. So the next part is we need to find the area. So luckily, the area is going to be a little easier than this. <clears throat> Let's keep that on there. All right. So area, again, is going to be the integral over the area of the area, right? I mean, that's a pretty simple statement to make there, right? But we already have this here, so we can say that this is equal to uh, y dx. And we've kind of done this already, right? We said that y is equal to this, we know that this is gonna work out, and we know what our x bounds are, right? Negative 40 to 40. Right, so then we're just gonna plug in what we know for y, negative 40 to 40, y is 0 0.1, 1, 6, 0, 0 minus x squared dx. So bring out that 0 0.1, and go from negative 40 to 40, 1 600 minus x squared dx. So let's do the integral. So this is equal to 0 0.1. Um, so it's going to be 1600 x minus 1 third x to the third from negative 40 to 40. So then again, you're just going to plug in those. <clears throat> you're going to get your number. So this is going to be area is equal to 8,533 meters, millimeters squared. Okay, so finally we have area and moment, and we can use our formula. Hopefully I did that right. Yep, so, right, k of y is this, so we're just gonna put in our numbers. Square root of 2,736,67 over 
and of course millimeters to the fourth over millimeters squared. The units on this KY, you're gonna get the number 17.9 millimeters, right? The units are gonna make sense, it's all gonna work out. So there we go, 17.9 millimeters. <clears throat> and there we go, so that's the distance to the point of gyration from here. So that would be, you know, however many of 17 is here. So it's probably about there. So there you go, that's how you find the radius of gyration. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, check out my channel. I have a lot of videos on these kind of topics. And yeah, ask any questions in the comments. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.